everyone. Welcome to Toy So Fun YouTube channel. Before watching, don't forget to like and click on subscribe bell icon to get notification. Thank you and have a nice day. Hi everyone, let me start to challenge frog balancing tree game. Learn how to balancing techniques, frog placement strategy, problem solving and pattern recognition. The challenge of balancing a frog balancing tree involves maintaining a binary tree structure where each node is assigned a weight. The goal is to ensure that the weights of the left and right subtrees of each node are balanced within a certain tolerance. Here's an algorithm that can be used to balance a frog balancing tree. 1. Define a class or data structure for the nodes in the tree. Each node should contain the following information. Value the value stored in the node. Weight, the weight assigned to the node. Left child, a reference to the left child node. Right child, a reference to the right child node. 2. Create a function to calculate the weight of a node. The weight of a node can be defined as the sum of the weights of its left and right subtrees plus the weight assigned to the node itself. 3. Implement a function to check if a node is balanced. A node is considered balanced if the absolute difference between the weights of its left and right subtrees is within a certain tolerance. The tolerance can be defined based on your specific requirements. 4. Create a function to balance the tree. This function will take a node as input and perform the following steps recursively. If the node is none, return none. Recursively balance the left and right subtrees. Calculate the weight of the current node. If the node is balanced, return the node. If the node is unbalanced, perform the necessary rotations to balance it. 5. Implement rotation operations to balance the tree. Depending on the specific balancing strategy you want to use, e.g., AVL tree, red black tree, you may need different rotation operations. Common rotation operations include left rotation, right rotation, double left rotation, and double right rotation. 6. Finally, create a function to insert a new node into the balance tree. This function will find the appropriate position to insert the new node based on its value. Insert the new node with an initial weight. Call the balance function on the root node to ensure the tree remains balanced. How to play to play a game involving a frog balancing tree, you would typically follow a set of rules and objectives specific to the game. As the phrase, frog balancing tree, doesn't refer to a specific game, I'll provide a general outline of how you can approach playing a game based on a frog balancing tree concept. You can adapt these steps to fit the specific rules and mechanics of the game you're playing. Understand the objective. Familiarize yourself with the goal of the game. It could involve balancing the tree, reaching a certain configuration, achieving a specific score, or solving puzzles related to the frog balancing tree. Learn the game mechanics, gain a clear understanding of the rules and mechanics of the game. This includes knowing how to interact with the frog balancing tree, what actions you can take, and any constraints or limitations that apply. Start with a balanced tree. Depending on the game, you may begin with a pre-balanced tree or an initial configuration that requires balancing. If the tree is unbalanced, your task will be to apply various operations to achieve balance. Perform actions. Take actions that affect the frog balancing tree. This could involve inserting or removing nodes, adjusting weights, or performing rotations to balance the tree. Follow the specific rules and restrictions of the game while making your moves. Maintain balance. Throughout the game, your primary objective may be to keep the frog balancing tree balanced. Ensure that the weights of the left and right subtrees of each node are within the acceptable tolerance or meet the specific criteria defined by the game. Solve challenges or puzzles. Some games based on frog balancing trees may present you with challenges or puzzles to solve. These could involve finding the optimal solution, reaching a specific configuration, or solving problems related to the tree structure. Progress and scoring. Track your progress and score according to the game rules. This may include earning points for balancing the tree, completing levels or stages, or achieving specific objectives. Iterate and improve. Continue playing the game, 
learning from your mistakes and improving your strategies. Explore different approaches to solving puzzles or achieving higher scores. The fun to play frog balancing tree. Frog balancing tree, as a game concept, sounds intriguing and potentially fun to play. Although there isn't a specific game widely known as frog balancing tree, I can offer a playful interpretation of how you could enjoy such a game. Objective. The objective of frog balancing tree could be to balance a tree structure by strategically placing frogs on different nodes while maintaining equilibrium. Tree manipulation. You can interact with the tree by adding or removing frogs from nodes. Each node represents a position where a frog can be placed, and the tree's structure determines the balance. Frog weights. Assign weights to each frog based on their size or type. The weights of the frogs contribute to the overall balance of the tree. Balancing strategies. Experiment with different strategies to distribute the frogs and achieve equilibrium. Consider the weights, positions, and relationships between the frogs on various nodes. Challenges and levels. Engage in challenges or progress through levels that gradually increase in complexity. These challenges could involve specific weight distributions, limited moves, or obstacles that affect the balancing process. Time pressure or scoring. Add an element of excitement by incorporating time pressure or scoring mechanisms. For example, you could aim to balance the tree within a certain time limit or try to achieve a high score based on the efficiency of your balancing moves. Puzzle solving. Introduce puzzle elements where you need to analyze the tree structure, frog weights, and possible moves to find the optimal solution. These puzzles could involve finding the minimum number of moves required to balance the tree or reaching a specific configuration. Visual and audio elements. Enhance the game's enjoyment with visually appealing graphics, animations, and sound effects. Engaging visuals could showcase the frogs in the tree, while audio effects could enhance the overall immersion. Multiplayer or competitive modes. Add a multiplayer aspect where you can compete with friends or other players. This could involve simultaneous tree balancing, strategic frog placements, or even introducing gameplay elements to disrupt opponent's balance. Iteration and replayability. Offer replay value by including random tree configurations, different frog types, or additional gameplay variations. This allows players to enjoy multiple playthroughs and encourages experimentation.